Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card for you today using a bunch of products from the Holiday Wishes collection, including the gorgeous Watercolor Pine stamp set and the amazing Snowflakes 3D embossing folder. I'm going to do a little bit of inking with this folder. So I'm going to show you what I did here for my card to begin with. On the left side here of the open folder is the flat side and on the right is the raised side. So on that flat side I'm going to use some Uncharted Mariner Distress Ink and I've just placed the folder over top of just a piece of copy paper just in case I get any ink um, over the edges here and I'm just taking that ink pad and I'm just kind of um, squishing and twisting and patting the ink onto the folder then what I'll do is take my water spritzer bottle and I'll spritz the ink with some water then I'll place my cardstock in the opposite side of the folder and close the folder up and run that through my die cutting machine with the 3D embossing folder sandwich. What that's going to do is transfer the ink onto the paper. It is a little bit messy and I'm going to take my plates and the folder to the sink and clean them up um, and I'll use a little bit of a baby wipe for my surface here to get everything clean but isn't this beautiful when it's all finished? You'll notice that the raised edge of the snowflakes are mostly white and then the background is blue so you can see how nicely the folder Folder cleaned up and I'll just give you a really nice close-up here of how beautiful this distressed background looks when it's finished. Now I'm just going to take my heat tool here and go ahead and make sure that this paper is nice and dry before I go on to my next step. And once that's done, I'll set that aside. Now I am going to be using some heavy stock paper from Ranger. This is just a really nice bright white um, paper that will take a little bit of moisture. I'm taking my Watercolor Pines stamp set uh, here and I'm going to ink up the first stamp with some Stormy Sky Distress Ink and then I'm going to follow that with a little bit of Seedless Preserves Distress Ink. The Seedless Preserves I just put around the edge of the pine tree and now I've spritzed it with water. I'll give that a nice press onto that heavy stock paper and just really give it a second to absorb into the paper before I lift the stamp off. So you can just see I'm holding it there just to give that a chance to really get absorbed into the paper nicely and I'll just go ahead and open the misty and you can just see how beautiful what a beautiful gorgeous watercolor image you get with these stamps they're really really fun I'm going to do that exact same technique with four of the stamps from the watercolor pine set and you'll just see here same thing going in with that stormy sky distress ink cube. I do really like the cubes for this technique because it does allow you to kind of get into smaller areas so when I'm adding that to the edges it's really easy to get that um, ink onto those smaller areas with the ink cube. You can definitely do this with the larger pads as well, but I do really like the ink cubes for this technique for sure. I'll go ahead and do that same water spritzing and then give that a good press onto the heavy stock. You could use watercolor paper as well for this technique if you want to. You would not have to. The heavy stock does take this, this um, treatment really nicely. And once again, giving that just a really nice press, allowing that ink to just really nicely absorb into the paper before I lift that off. I'll go ahead and clean those stamps. And I just wanted to show you here, there are stumps for some of the trees. Now, if you're not wanting to die cut these, you could stamp the stump directly onto the tree, but there is a separate die die for the stump as well so if you want to die cut the stumps with the tree you have to stamp the stumps separately so if you're just doing a single layer and not die cutting you could put the stump right on there so I just wanted to show you that um, there's lots of different ways that you can use these of course so just be creative and you'll come up with something really cool so I just took a second to dry that with my heat tool and now I'll take the coordinating die set die set for the watercolor pines and I'll just grab the matching die for each of these different stamps that I've stamped out and I'll tape those down to the paper in place and I'll just go ahead and die cut those out with my die cutting machine and there are more trees than what I have stamped here in the set but I just wanted four for my little card so there you can see how they're all die cut I love that white edge it actually looks like snow and that's going to be perfect for my project so I just wanted to show you how nicely these are going to look on that snowflake background. 
with the blues and the purples. So really, really uh, nice distressed um, looking project here with a real watercolor look to it. So I'm going to size down this piece here. I'm sizing the paper down to three and three quarters by five inches. And this is just going to allow me to mat this paper with some pattern paper from the Winter Wonderland paper pad. So at first I thought I might just size it to five and a quarter by four inches, but then I decided I wanted a mat. So this is a paper from that eight and a half by six inch paper pad. And what's beautiful is when you cut these papers in half, you have a, a paper that's large enough for two A2 size cards. So this is that pattern paper pad. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I'm going to size this paper just a quarter of an inch larger. So this is going to be four inches by five and a quarter. So still a quarter of an inch smaller than my card base. So I'm going to have a nice white border and then this navy and then my distress background here. So they're all just going to layer up nicely so that I just get a really nice framed in card front when I'm finished. So now I'm just going to start to assemble the project. I'm going to use my honeybee liquid adhesive here on this pattern paper piece. I'll just go ahead and put a little bit all the way around the perimeter and then a bit in the center and get that adhered onto my A2 size top folding white card base. And then I'll do the same thing here with the embossed paper with my honeybee liquid ad adhesive. I'll give that a really good press so that all of those layers are really nicely adhered, especially right around the very edges of the paper. Now I'm going to be using one of my favorite sentiments of all time from Honey Bee. This is the Peace, Love, Joy set. I love this set so much. And I'm going to be stamping it, the word peace out with our Honey Bee Intense Black ink. And I'm also going to do two other little sentiments from that set, wishing you and this holiday season. So that our entire sentiment is wishing you peace this holiday season. Now before I die cut those, I wanted to do a little bit of watercoloring in some of these areas on the word peace. Piece. So in the open areas, I'm going to just go ahead and use that Seedless Preserves ink cube again and a little bit of water and my watercolor brush to color in the open areas there just to add a little bit of color to the sentiment as well. I think this is just a really nice touch and you could actually do this with you know, your metallic paints, watercolor paints, all kinds of different options for this. It's just a really nice option to have that open space so that you could, could if you want, add some coloring. So I'm just going to very carefully add in a little bit of pigment into those areas. And I'm trying not to add too much water here to my ink. So you'll notice that I am dabbing off on the paper towel whenever I feel like I have just a little bit too much water in that brush. So I'm just going to finish up here and I really love this silver brush because it does have a really nice fine tip on it and it does allow you to get into all of these just tiny little nooks and crannies. Now there is a coordinating die set for Peace, Love, Joy which is fantastic. Every one of the sentiments in that set has a coordinating die which is lovely and I've die cut those all out and now I'm going to put those onto my card. Now the word piece is going to be bumped up with some foam adhesive as are the other two sentiment strips as well. So I'm just getting that foam adhesive on there. I'm just bringing this towards myself so that I can get my head over top of this and try to get this as straight as possible. Probably should have gotten my T-square ruler out but I didn't have it handy so I'm just eyeballing these as best I can. I am trying to use the grid lines on my glass mat as well to help me out a little bit also. So I've got those sentiments on there. They're pretty straight and I have used, like I said, foam adhesive for each of those. Now these two trees that I'm going to place down onto the card first, I'm just gluing with liquid adhesive and I will give those a really good press until I'm certain they're adhered. The two top trees are going to be attached to the card with some foam adhesive to give them a little bit of dimension as well. And I'm just using my honeybee tweezers to help me get everything into place. I'm going to use some Dino Wakely white gloss spray now and I'm going to add a little splatter of some snow with this white acrylic paint and I'm just using a fine brush to get a combination of some really fine um, white splatter and some larger splatter spots as well. Now that that's dry I'm taking some stickles and this is just a really pretty 
um, kind of almost a clear with a little bit of an iridescent sparkle. So these are the stardust stickles. And I'm just adding a little bit of sparkle and shine to the trees in a few areas. And then I'll also add a little bit of those stickles to the peace sentiment here and there as well. For holiday cards especially, I really love adding a little bit of glitter, sparkle, and shine. And I think that this just really brightens up the card even a little bit more. So now I'm just going to show you in the light here how this looks. Hopefully you can pick up the little bit of stickles there. Thank you so much for watching me today, friends. I have linked up in the description box below to all of the products that I've used. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you thought of my card in the comment section, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.